Greetings YouTube, this is Longbow. Uh, well, I'm still tinkering with the old uh, atomizer assembly here. I've made a few small modifications which I'm hoping will increase its performance because I wasn't really happy with it last time. Uh, so here you can see I've added some uh, inlet ports as the uh, gas goes rushing through uh, the interior of the pipe here. Uh, it'll end up drawing air inside and it also gives me a point uh, to ignite in the center of the pipe rather than burning right at the end here. Uh, as you saw uh, in the last video, it was easily blown out, but if I can get the flame inside, then it'll just get hotter and hotter and I won't get any of that fluid dripping out the bottom. Uh, also I've attached, uh, attached a regulator to the air inlet line, and that'll allow, allow me to control it at the burner rather than having to run inside and adjust my compressor. And finally I added a small little uh, screw here. And that's just going down and pressing up against the uh, the burner itself, or the atomizer itself. And that just locks it in place so it doesn't wobble and rattle around like it did before. It's now pretty much perfectly centered in there. So, let's make some fire! So, once again, here's our setup. We've got our kerosene over here, we've got our... Longbow atomizer with new and improved modifications here, and this heat source. We'll see if this uh, has improved its performance. Take my line, stick it in my kerosene, and I'll turn up the pressure and turn on the kerosene. So 10 psi. something completely different. So if you watched uh, the last video you'll recall that uh, I said in theory it would be possible to atomize uh, kerosene using something other than compressed air, actually using a compressed gas instead. And no not this little bottle of MPS. Got something a little more substantial. A wee bit of propane. So instead of running compressed air through the airline, we're gonna run propane. 
So we'll see how that works. to test it out. Still going to be using, uh, well, we'll use propane alone at first, and then we'll see what happens when we add uh, kerosene to the propane. Apparently, it turns out uh, propane doesn't have enough pressure to uh, atomize this. Yeah, I almost lit my house on fire. Yeah, it seems that uh, when I use propane, I'm definitely going to have to use air in addition to the propane. Just too rich. Well, kerosene mode, great success. Propane mode, not so much, but I'm gonna continue working on it. Thanks for watching.